first found out about Chuck from a guy named Greg. I'd bought his beer can collection and asked him who he collected with back in the day. He told me Chuck in Wauwatosa was a good guy and had a nice collection. So I called Chuck up and found out he was laying in his living room where his collection was displayed. After a brief conversation, he started reading off all the stuff he had, lots of cans, and it seemed like they were in good condition. He told me about the coaster collection that he had gotten from his uncle 30 years ago. Because he collected beer stuff, his uncle gave him all these coasters from a display at a trade show. And from the brands, they sounded like they were from the 30s and 40s. I wrote down all the names on a piece of paper as fast as I could and questioned him on some of them and I kept that piece of paper for 12 or 13 years. I looked at it many times imagining what some of these examples looked like. It turns out they were from the Absorbo Beer Pad Company which was headquartered in New York and most all of them were 4 inch thick coasters from the late 1930s. They had a display set up at different trade shows where they would affix them to the back of the trade display and show all the different coasters they'd done around the nation for the different beer companies and breweries. The coasters were sprayed with some sort of protective shellac to keep them from chipping and to make them more durable. The backs of the coasters had the specifications on them and you can see they had a little part where there was some sticky put on them so they could be affixed to the display. You can see the sheen on them from sealant or whatever they sprayed on them. Chuck had the coaster display on his walls and ceiling and I sent him a letter probably once every year but then I stopped hearing from him until I got an email from his brother Gary. It was a refrigerator magnet that I sent him five or six years ago and he stuck on the refrigerator which had my information on it so Gary sent me an email and said he had found Chuck on the bathroom floor after four days, and he was still alive. And the thing was, he didn't even crap himself, Gary said. But Chuck's collection had been boxed up, and they were going to sell it. So why did I make this video, and why should you care? Because a year after the fact that I thought I had found all these coasters, and all the brands, and taken it in, Gary texts me and says... He has found a few more. And as a collector, it has taken all the patience that I can possibly muster on this earth to not open or look in this box. I don't know if it's got 1980s Budweiser coasters or soft drink coasters or a bunch of junk. But since unboxing videos are popular, I am going to open this up live and we're going to see what Gary found. Are you ready? Let's go. And no, uh, not. Oh, 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 I see. Yep, not so much. Oh my. Absorbable coasters, Meisterbrow, that's a good sign. Wagner's Valkyrie, yes. Oshkosh, Wisconsin, here we go. Oh my, these are good. Oh my, yay! See, there's the sticky on the back. But Miller High Life, ooh, that's an old one. Ho, 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 ho! Old England, nice! Ooh, they got stickies. I'll have to go through these. Let's check out some more. Oh man. <laughs> check it out. Oh, they got stickies, but I'll check them out. Red Fox. Scotch Thistle Ale, Leidiger from Wisconsin, look at these Wisconsin ones, Kipps Bay, Ortlieb's Green Bay, Wisconsin, I'm getting too excited by looking at them, oh my, Old South, yes, Star Lager Beer from Lamira, Wisconsin, oh, these are some dandies, woo hoo hoo, -hoo. Absorbo Beer Coasters, oh my, Weber Waukesha, look at that paper one, whoa, Kruger's, Weber's, Dale, I think that's Ohio, oh my, Shane's, Champagne Velvet, True Blue Ale, let's go in there, oh my, this box is yielding some craziness, it's time for Pabst, oh, there's doubles, oh, I'm going to have to go through these afterwards, Weber, Norton's, whoa, 
Wiedemann's. Steinhaus. Oh my, Jeanette, Pennsylvania. Some of those Pennsylvania guys are nuts. Old Shea, another Jeanette. Oh my, these could be as good as the first find. I can't believe this is truly a time capsule. Check that out and the graphics. Let's flip this one over. Old Oxhead. Uh, Sterling. And they're stuck together. Cream Ale. Braumeister. Oh my. See, and here's the danger of the two-sided. Sometimes they get... Yeah, that's pretty cool. And another Miller High Life. Whoa, cool. Let's dig in for more. It still keeps coming. Narragansett. Wall deck. That's a 70s coaster. Cool. Berghoff. Miller. Redding. Gus. Paramount, Patrick Henry, Brooklyn, New York. Of course, there's a lot of New York coasters in here because Absorbo was a New York coaster company. Berghoff, Black Label, that's a little new. Boy, he's got a bunch of Miller 4-inch coasters in here. Look at the piles. And these are all 3-inch. And those are all 3-inch. But overall, and I can cult but as you can see we got a boatload of absorbo coasters yes 